Niggas yeah. ain't finna be popping back yeah. out, man. Yeah. I was finna come fuck with you. Yeah. But you ain't it's got your shit together. Yeah. It's like, so I'm finna just go off. <laughs> yeah, it's like, God damn. <laughs> yeah, he you got, know how these young <laughs> niggas is. They already tired. They come out. <laughs> That's what I was just like, whatever nigga tomorrow, I'm nigga to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we young niggas. We can move. We can reschedule. Oh, jeez, nigga. It's like, hold on. Hey, nigga, you got to think he done done sitcoms and all type of yeah, shit, nigga. This little podcast, little yeah. talk show shit be like, nigga, I'm really coming because of you <laughs> only. I don't even know what we doing. He don't even know what he finna do when he get here. On oh, me. Is he, is he Oakland? Huh? Is he Oakland? Yeah, yep. Yeah, He's yeah, Oakland. Right, 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 yep. Right. OG for yeah. sure. Hell yeah, man. Hanging with Mr. Cooper, nigga. Oh, my mama. That's player. Hell that's yeah. Player. Them sitcoms, man. Is yeah. it? No, nah, that's a that's not a, a sitcom though. Raising Canaan. What is no. that shit called? That's a that's a just uh, a TV show, huh? TV series. Yeah. But it's cause it's not it's not necessarily sitcom. But yeah, it's a TV series. That's I mean, if anything, yeah. Yeah, that shit cold. Bro. That's some shit you want to do, Quan. Hell yeah, no, for sure. You should have been on Snowfall. Hey, I, you man, felt that way. I don't even, even want to go into that. I was trying. I was trying. Uh, niggas kept like bullshit. Like in your words, nigga, it was cat, nigga. For they real. Was fucking with me, like they kept it's an old around. school LA show though. Yeah, that was giving me. Did a you try to? You from around. LA too? You try to get yeah, on Snowfall? I did, I did something audition or like it was right before Raising Canaan. I, but I don't know. I don't know what part of what now I came in. I haven't watched the show like this, so I can't remember what small part of it, what it was. Yeah. But I was talking about that earlier this morning, how my my conversation. I'm not mad. Damson did a great job. Yeah. I'm not mad. <laughs> I, yeah. didn't, I haven't watched the show, but the clips I saw, yeah. the nigga gets busy. Yeah. But I also was talking about. I'm like for a LA based show, y'all couldn't find no nobody. LA niggas. At, yeah, bro, that that was my issue. Like, nobody. No LA nigga niggas out of LA. Yeah. The only LA nigga I can think of is Stacy, nigga uh, DeAndre Bonds. Oh, okay. that's the only nigga that uh, oh. plays Scully. That's the only yeah. nigga I can okay. think of. But and that never like, crossed my mind not being from LA. Yeah. I never, I never thought of like that until me sitting here with y'all. No. Be like, no real shit. Yeah, y'all is from LA. Y'all should have been all from LA. That's all I'm that's all looking at. Dude. That's Cause you know the band be hot, nigga. If yeah. y'all do a show, it ain't no big niggas on yeah. it. But that's why I was glad that. Dub C did a damn good job with being his dialect coach. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But I'm like, nah, LA niggas need more because I'm like, not like that, but I'm, I'm nigga, I'm gonna talk my shit, bro. Yeah. I'm one of the niggas that give LA like, yeah, you part uh, of the uh, culture, culture the but it's you know modern day culture. You do you feel like y'all give him a pass because it's like it's a, it's based on the '80s type shit? A uh, pass? I, I mean, I'm, again, I'm not mad at him. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at the overall. I'm just like. My whole, my whole thing was, I'm sure there's somebody from L.A. that could have done it. I'm not mad. He did a great job. Yeah, mm -hmm. damn good. He held it down. Dubsy got him together. Yeah. He got all the, the, the stuff, and he got the chops, too. So I'm not mad because he got the chops, mm -hmm. and he, he learned the thing. Because it, it, I, I can flip this around, mm -hmm. and... I'm playing, a, I'm playing a New York a nigga. A New York myself. nigga. You from L.A. <laughs> L.A., L.A. Facts. And so they may be saying, man, ain't nobody from the south side Jamaica Queens. Yeah. <laughs> but, but also. Niggas ain't even light-skinned on south side Jamaica Queens. <laughs> they got this L.A.-ass <laughs> nigga playing Uncle Marvin. I mean, it could be that. But at the same time, I have to also consider, I'm like, well, I don't know how many people auditioned and where, they, and where their chops were mm -hmm. on the acting side of it. So I'm like, Damson got the chops. Mm -hmm. Because you can, you can be from L.A., but do you have also do you have the acting chops to go with yeah, what right. it requires? Thanks. So it, it's the same thing where I was telling I was on my live earlier this morning talking about how the process, which is when you let when by the time people see whatever they see on TV, it had been uh, it been thousands of people auditioning. For, for, first of all, just to you got to have a right agent. They even get you that even want to fight for you to get. To get right. you the part, man. Because we we'll, maybe we we'll say this for the th for the thing, uh, for the end, for the podcast. But no, I already started, man. It's the yeah. Cali kickback, man. What's happening, man? Oh, we, oh is, it, is it on? Yeah, yeah it's on right now, right, man. No. It's the Cali kickback. You understand me? It's your boy Lewis Bell, man. We yeah. at Thug Mansion, just chopping gang. You understand me? You already know we got Wasabi Kwan in the building. You understand me? L.A. Zone, goddamn me. And we got a special guest, man. He didn't came back. You understand me? Uh -oh. Rest in peace, my player partner Teddy Ray, man. He of came course. on with me and Teddy Ray. You understand me? Yeah. The one and only London Brown, man. man yeah, bro, for my Teddy boy. Ray. Yeah, That's man. My guy, man. That touched my heart, man. Yeah, man. I'm shout glad. I'm glad. Ray. I'm glad you came through. You understand yeah. me? Uh, yeah. 
once again, you know, <laughs> doubling back on the episode. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we was just talking about a whole bunch of stuff, man. Yeah. Um, you know, shout out Snowfall. <laughs> but uh, yeah, y'all need to get some LA niggas on there, man. Yeah. That matter. But. Or man, because I think I think they just finished the season. Finished oh yeah, it's done. Oh, it's over. It's done, done. I think yeah. it's over. Yeah. So Nigga, moving Frank. forward, maybe you know. But shout yeah. out to everybody who did it. But then that's the, I was like, yeah. shout out to uh my guy Malcolm mm -hmm. yeah. who plays my brother on the show. He yeah. did. I think he did like season one or two of it. Yep. Okay. Se so uh, he, he was he's one. LA. So he was he was able to get on there. But he from, oh, okay. the, he from the Jays. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That go jungles. crazy. You know where he's at with Bob. Man, Remember, stop bringing up L.A. niggas. He passed up away. Here. They be, be watching this. Remember? Oh, uh, oh yeah, Pop, I fuck yeah, with Pop. all the jungles. Yeah, that's 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 where Malcolm. Uh, oh, from, from bro. Oh, yeah. swear that go yeah. crazy. So that's all. Damn, like, they got a nigga what? from the jungles on them. Yeah, I'm like, that's on what show? Yeah, I think, so far, I think he did okay. season yeah. one, either one yeah. and two or two for sure. But he was on yeah. there. Oh, that go yeah, crazy. Because didn't Franklin have to kill him? I think something like that. Franklin had to kill him. So for people watching who don't know, that's my 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 boy who plays Lulu. On oh. Raising Canaan. Oh, Lulu. Yeah. yeah. He from L.A.? Yeah, yeah. he from Swear L.A. Swear I fuck with his character. <laughs> yeah. That nigga named Lulu. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> Saucy nigga Lewis, yes, then. <laughs> oh, mama. Yeah. yeah. How, yep. how is it, how is it uh, being that character? Because it's like, you know, being... Uh, one thing I noticed about when you on those... Like, because we all comedians, you know? So we used to, yeah. like, uh, playing different characters on mm -hmm. stage and even having little roles where it's like, you know, movies or whatever. But like playing a role like uh like Uncle Marvin, uh when you walking around, people really think you Uncle Marvin at this point. Like they don't uh, even. You know what? That's what's interesting, is that because I still be. <clears throat> so, for the viewers and people who, who will chime in who don't know this, uh -huh. but I'm from South Central LA. Mm -hmm. So when I when I touch down and I'm in the Slauson, yeah. Swami, yeah. they really be confused. Yeah, like what you doing down <laughs> here? Mm -hmm. Nigga, you buy, must be in New York. Buying a three for one <laughs> pro club set. <laughs> you know, let me get some pro. Ain't that like a white tee? Uh -huh. I, I stay in the night little and I grab a couple fitty caps. You know? yeah. So I go in there and I buy the thing. Man, nigga, what you doing here? I'm like, man, I'm just grabbing white tee. <laughs> Man, you sound like us. Like, I know, nigga, what happened? Get a couple white tees, nigga. You know, you know. But, no, but now they think you acting when you being yourself. Yeah, yeah. Right. Bro, I Uncle Marv, he oh, acting man. like an L.A. nigga I, now. Nigga, I, 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 little nigga on the dead homies. I just seen that nigga got the sloss grabbing a T-shirt. On the dead homies, he sound confused, just like us, man. bro. Yeah. He had, nigga, he had a pro club and Chuck sold and everything. All of that, man. So it be, but it's interesting. But that's why I have to also have to be, um, I have to be mindful yeah. of the perception of me has changed. Yeah. And it's simply because right. I don't know nothing else. I was functioning before this, you know, before the TV show. So I, I just, I go where I regularly go. I'm, you know, I mess around Gardena, I be in Broadway, I be in Slauson. So <laughs> yeah. I'm moving around because that's what I'm used to. Yep. But I do have to be aware that the perception of me has changed. So yeah. when I look in there, I, I, I can't be looking like I'm a quick lick. Pause. You know Fact. what I'm saying? I mean, sure. He look like no. He look like he got some. No I mean. man, I'm in. I'm in some sweats and some jeans. Yeah, got grab some t-shirts. Yep. And I'm, yep. I'm picking up some clippers and some oil clippers or something. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> my mom. You know what I mean? So, but you know, but that's what I appreciate. That's one thing that I appreciate about myself mm -hmm. is that you know that's why I tell people I say when you meet somebody from from Hollywood or in the industry, yeah. if they acting weird, you know what I mean. First off, don't. Don't judge them on the first interaction. Give them, right. give them more than one. Some some days, some niggas might be having an off day. You know, yeah. I'll give an example. Mm -hmm. I lost my brother. Uh, my brother was gunned down in 2015. Mm, sorry, I remember yeah. I was in the car. No, uh, you know, peace be upon him. I was in the car. Had a whole thing we talking about. We talking about early before we got on on the camera. How we just had these moments of thinking about Teddy Ray and different things. Yeah. So I had a whole moment in the car. 20 minutes. Eyes. Blush, I read, nose running. I'm boohooing in the car. Mm -hmm. I go into the restaurant. I'm about to go grab something to eat. I run. Uh, uh, some guy run up to me. Say, "Yo, man," and he talking about my first TV series or my other TV series. Mm -hmm. uh, Ballers. Ballers. He mm -hmm. said, "Yo, man, big fan of the show. Can I get a photo?" I said, "Yeah, man, let's do it." Now, what he didn't know is that I had been in the car. I had a whole little episode. Oh, right? mama's a whole little breakdown. But when I spoke to him, I just gave him the moment because I understand where people are. Yeah. And it's kind of like, not that we're the same, but it's the same thing where with that Jordan and mentality is as far as like, 
they when they when Jordan played the game, he put it all on the line because he knew that there was somebody in the audience, uh, in 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 the stands who who has, or Kobe Bryant it mentioned as well, mm-hmm. who had never seen seen them play. They had mm-hmm. saved up all year long for that moment to yeah. see the play, so they yeah. deliver. Yeah, and that's what I try to do. Try to be in my heart mm-hmm. is when people want a photo. I'm like, man, let's come on. I, you know, it ain't no thing. It's a couple, couple seconds. Take the photo. Low key, if it wasn't for the people, even whoever that was watching, those people, yeah. I wouldn't even be able to afford to be in the restaurant I'm going <laughs> come into. Come on. Yeah. So when you when you break it down on that level, yeah. mm-hmm. the least I can do is take up, you know, unless I'm not, unless I'm not, you know, dashing for a flight or something. Yeah. I really just try to slow down and, uh, Take a couple of minutes to take the photo. I, yeah, it, that's, you know, right now, the least I can do is be nice. You know, on everything. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. <clears throat> and then it'd be crazy too, cause it's like having a a new uh new addition to your fame. You understand me? It's like you don't be knowing that should be weird. Like TV and movies and all that shit is different, cause it's like that should be old. Yeah. Like not old, but it's like, bro, we been shot that. And we worried about the next project for sure. Mm-hmm. And then people be walking up, and be like, name me <laughs> some old shit. But it's yeah. like they probably just watched that. Like it's some people that just that's watched Baller, Ballers yeah, yeah, sure. last night and be like, oh, that's bro. You feel me? You like yeah. nigga Ballers? Like you feel yeah. me? Like, I was talking about that the other night too, which is I'm so re- I'm so removed from Ballers. Yeah. Uh, my last season of that was 2019, mm-hmm. but it seems so past. That's why people ask me, you know. They'd be surprised to find out that I haven't watched Raising Canaan. But by the time we finish shooting Raising Canaan, I'm already in the clubs. I'm doing something else. And I'm going to get to it. I want to watch it. But I'm just removed from it already. Emotionally, it, you know, because people say, you know, what you like, acting more or stand-up. Mm-hmm. But acting is like, is like wanting your, whatever your favorite uh, toy for Christmas is, and but let's just say it was a bike, right? Remember the BMX bikes? No, yeah, yeah, them were everybody oh, got their shit stolen. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, man, you <laughs> tell you, right? Yeah, so it's like one of the BMX bike for Christmas, yeah. But then your, your folks tell you, We got the bike, it's here, it's the 25th. You can open it up, we got the bike, but we ain't, we ain't gonna be able to get the, we ain't gonna be able to get the, the chain. Or the tire, or no, about this. We're gonna be able to get the handle for it mm-hmm. until six months later. So it's your favorite gift, your toy, but you ain't gonna be able to experience it until you get the handle six months right. later. Yeah. Right. So when six months later arrive, mm-hmm. you like, thank you, I'm glad I get to ride the bike, but I'm the titillation of it yeah. is different because it's delayed. That's a hell of a thing. Yeah. 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 That was a what? bar. Yeah, okay. You sounded like a straight pimp <laughs> saying all that shit. That was playing right there. No, but as opposed to when we do stand up, stand up, they give you the whole pack. By the way, you 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 want the gift, you get the gift. The, the laugh is right there, right so there, it's a instant. different thing, man. Yeah. Or even when when you post, because I know you 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 going you going hand with, on on social media. Yeah. Them likes come in, boom boom. People they on it. It's a, it's an instant situation. Yeah. So that's what it feels like with with the show. Is like I appreciate it and it's cool, but by the time I actually get feel what I'm supposed to feel from it. Yeah, I'm already. It's six months later, I'm, or whatever, months later, it's different. Hell As yeah. opposed to, if we shot the scenes and we were able to watch them at a big whatever viewing each weekend, that would be a little different. Oh, and yeah. months later, I'm removed, you know, slightly, you know. Uh, how do how do actors get caught up in being a character, though? Yeah. You know, sometimes, <clears throat> you know, people don't let, don't let it go. As far as w- what I try to do is, I try to leave work at work. Mm-hmm. Meaning, when I'm feeling so, if I hold on, if I sound a little nasally, I don't know what I'm dealing with some sinuses. Oh, uh, no, nah, you could, you good, yeah. Pete. That means you just travel, man. Yeah. <laughs> you just move around, I know, man. The climate These changes. niggas never get sick because they ain't yeah. never left the house, man. <laughs> yeah, man. We get allergies around this bitch. You understand know me? We be on planes, man. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, when it comes to the character stuff, when I'm shooting something like Raising Canaan, mm-hmm. I try to leave it all at work. The only thing that I do try to keep with me is I don't. Go, uh, I don't break the accent. You don't, you know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be on set speaking like a New Yorker. And then when I leave work, then I'm back on some, hey, hey, let me get, um, hey, pull the car around the corner. I, can, I can't be breaking because oh, it'll be really? consistent with the work throughout the day. So, throughout the months, throughout so the whatever months? the eight months yeah, is, so yeah, I keep, stuck in that I stay, I keep the accent for sure. No, I don't break that for that that's that'd be bad. 
Hey, check it out, man. It's your boy, Louis Bell. Hey, Indianapolis, Naptown, pull up. Get your tickets right now. Yes, damn me. July 16th, I will be out there. That's a Sunday. Yes, damn me. So don't find out on Monday. Pull up on Sunday. Yes, damn me. Get your tickets. Do not miss the show. We're going to act a motherfucking fool. Thank y'all. Love everybody. But see, because New Yorkers, they're interesting too. If I wasn't legit, or if they didn't buy what I was, if they didn't buy these characters, they yeah. would be they would be on as tough, facts, man. Facts. So I don't break character when it comes to the voice. Everything else I try to leave at work. I, I don't bring that stuff. I don't, I don't bring that stuff back home. Yeah, man. you ain't trying to kill motherfuckers when you get off and all yeah, that I, shit. I, uh, <laughs> me, me, you know, the character Marvin and I, we really are alike. Minus, you know, uh, the short temper things. Like sometimes. Marvin is really quick to, uh, or at least before he got therapy in season two. Yeah, but yeah that's my favorite part. <laughs> he was snapping. You know, he was yeah. really going through his stuff emotionally. <laughs> oh, but other than that, Marvin and, and, and London really are the same. You know, we we both like, you know, I'm always in hat. If I ain't got no haircut, I'm in a hat. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, you know, but I like a haircut. I like look, keep, keeping the clothes together like a clean car, stuff like that. So, And I'm loyal to family. So Marvin and, and I like to, I like to eat food too, you know the food, oh, <laughs> the food stuff. Because people ask me about the food, but that's just one of those things you learn from acting or learn from theater, which is what we call uh, keeping some busyness. You know, right, right. when I'm not speaking, what makes Marvin interesting to look at? Part of that is having some food, mm. and it's just a small stuff. I'll that's give you another right. example of this. <clears throat> when you watch. If if you haven't watched, watch Taken Three with mm -hmm. Liam Neeson, mm -hmm. and watch Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker is always playing with his. He had a rubber band that he keeps yeah. on his wrist yeah, he when did. he's thinking and he's going through the process. That's the small business wow. that you learn with with acting that they just kind of keeps your character interesting. It's just these layers of different things Damn, that so hard. it's not because <clears throat> it, it, if I was just let's just say I could have been uh, just the irresponsible uncle. That's that's on the paper. That's surface. But how are we going to create these layers so that it makes the character three-dimensional so he's not just an uncle that just shoots guns. He's not just an uncle with a clean, flat top. What's some other stuff that makes him human? And some of that is knowing how to create layers. And that's the technique Damn. that you learn as an actor. not Because yeah. <laughs> people think it's just about memorizing the lines. Yeah, That's the easy part. Every, the, Shit, that's the hard part for me. <laughs> I'll be like, give me the pointers. Let me freestyle a little bit. I'll be forgetting the little lines sometimes. You know, but it, it, memorizing the lines yeah. as an actor, that ain't even beginning to work. That's just, that's like somebody saying, yo, uh, we want you to cook for Thanksgiving. And you make a list of all the things you want to cook. Making a list. You haven't even done the work yet. That's just making a list. That's just the basics. Yeah. So memorizing the lines is just, you got to get the lines out the way so that you can, you can begin to live and, and really be present so that mm -hmm. you can do things like I do a lot of improvisation on the show mm -hmm. but in order for me to exist in order for me to be present enough to know what to say and when to say and how to say it mm -hmm. The lines gotta be. Gotta be yeah. I gotta know the lines. It's kind of like being a comedian performer. You gotta yeah. know your set. Then you can fuck around, get you outside of your set. You feel comfortable. Yeah. When we come back. If something yeah. can happen, then you can get that, back into your joke because you know your material. That's one thing that I'm learning with with, with, with this acting shit. Um, like, I didn't ever pay attention to it mm -hmm. when I was doing skits, but when I was doing the Vince Staples show. Uh -huh. And I noticed, yeah. nigga, like, I'm so focused on remembering the lines, my body is dead. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah like, like, exactly. Like, 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 like I'm focused on that, and my body looks stupid. Yeah, so it exactly. makes sense to have something that you could kind of fuck with that uh give you that give you something different at, at, as you, as you throwing out the line. So what he's saying it makes sense because I was like. Every scene, nigga, Uncle Marvin is eating something, nigga. Yeah, and I'm thinking, I'm not thinking that's funny. I'm like, that's that's something funny that was probably written that niggas don't pay attention to. But knowing what he just said, yeah, what he learned from theater, and that's something that to give it some life to it. Like that's why you know, just that's fire. Not, not to cut you off, but that's why the whole the whole Marvin eating thing was something I brought to them, oh. and I said, Yo, man, oh. I would like to do this and keep some busy work. And it was the the writer. Shout out to Sasha Sasha Penn. Really, he's a showrunner, brain the brain child behind Raising Canaan. But he was on board. And so, what people don't understand is, 
and this is with no vanity. I, I ain't nothing. God, it, God was beneficent to even bestow this upon me. I, I, it's no vanity. Mm -hmm. But people don't understand. You, it's rare that you find a dumb actor because to do what I'm doing, which is, it's already enough to memorize the lines, to mem understand where you're blocking is. For those watching, blocking is where the actors move with the dialogue. So to memorize the lines and figure out where you're supposed to stand and to get the direction from the director, yeah. after you do a take, you say, man, you know, you know, Quan, we want you to do this. Lewis, we want you to stand like that and do that. So remember to remember where you're supposed to stand and how you're supposed to stand on top of the notes that they give you. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. already enough. Yeah. So what I'm doing, I just added another set of pressure, a weight on myself, which I welcome by eating. Because every time I decide, let's say, if it's, a, it's, some, if it's some chips in the scene, that bag got to be held the same way I got to eat the chip in the same way at the same time every time on top of the lines, the emotions, understanding where the light is, being in the light. Because you stand a couple centimeters to the right, you're going to be in the dark, you're going to be in the shadow. Just all of that kind of thing. And, and also being tapped in emotionally. Damn. It's very technical. Mm -hmm. People think, no, oh, Marvin just eating. He just be eating all the time. And Marvin's not eating all the time. It's very... <laughs> It's very methodical. You can tell he really be the character. Yeah. Marvin don't be <laughs> eating <laughs> all the time. <laughs> it's very methodical, man. It's very, it's very, it's very thought out, man. It's not just you. Just, it's not just uh, the just sporadic and just the because every time I eat a chip, the bag got to be faced the right way for continuity Damn, reasons. Right. Because they cut them takes, they cut them shots up, and they got to edit it so every shot got to match. So they'll do. Let's just say, they'll be they'll do ten shots, uh, they do ten shots of us all together, which is a wide shot. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Then they come over me and Quan, and they do uh, they shoot you ten times, and then they go close ten up, up in here. Yeah. All right, they'll say cut. We'll take a fifteen minute break. They re put all the crew and everybody on your side. Yeah. Then they got to get mm -hmm. shoot the shot the camera between. The, the, the both the of same us side, shoot yeah. Quan. Yeah, I gotta eat them chips in the same place. Damn. I gotta give him Crazy. if the scene is emotional. I gotta give him the emotion that he needs so he can cry or feed. So off niggas my gotta energy. cry multiple times. It depends. Now that's what you. That's because I you fuck learn. around, cry yeah. one time, be like, all right, uh, nigga. That's all y'all so gonna now, get. if you gonna do that, <laughs> I, I thought about my granny and then uh, I got I gave all these tears. Now see, <laughs> now that's where the skill is, which mm -hmm. is. If you let's just say you gotta cry, mm -hmm. you learn to kind of reserve some of them tears. Mm -hmm. So Damn. if they, if they gonna shoot, let's say they're gonna, they're gonna shoot my angle this way, uh -huh. you gonna maybe you may give the emotion without the tears. And I say, you know, uh, if it's you know for for the, for fun, if it's Denzel, uh, look, <clears throat> look, Lewis, okay, you look. You put you put the you put the blue cup down when you put the blue cup down, okay? It's not what you know, it's what it's what you can sip, okay? Boom. You do that, right? I, that was a good ass hey, Denzel, good. Hey, look, That no, was good. Hey, no, hey, look, fuck all that. Did you notice the matter? He he did he did the motherfucking the hand that was on gesture. Point. No, listen, y'all stupid. <laughs> that was hard. So they they shoot they they'll, they'll they'll get they'll they'll cut it this way. It's on me. Uh huh. And then you'll save your tears. When they got the camera on you, cause you mess around and give your whole incredible Oscar and a performance on me, yeah. mm -hmm. and then when they turn around on you, you ain't got no tears left. Yeah. No, damn, that shit sound like fucking. But I just that's like buzzing the nut. You gotta save it, <laughs> hold your nut from the front. When you get to the back, then you can let it release when she gets to throwing it back. How about that's this? when you nut. I'll give you another one. You, I'll give you another one. You got to save it. Not only when you, you you got it from the front, but after she finished, Ooh. then you got it. Because as long as she get her out the way. Yeah. That's what I realized. This is a whole other thing. What I realized, <laughs> nigga, what I realized is that. Now, nigga, we can talk about fucking. I'm very experienced with that. What I realized is this. It don't matter how long you go with a chick. Yeah. If she don't get hers, you still ain't nothing. Facts. But as long as you get her out the way, mm -hmm. You can, you can, you can do, you, you can yeah. follow right after that. Yeah. Because even if you go an hour, right, whatever, thirty minutes, whatever niggas do, mm -hmm. pause, and, and 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 you and you get yours, <laughs> and you you like, man, I was in for forty five minutes, y'all both sweat. She like, 
But still, I mean, like, what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> but as long as you get her out the way, even if she get, you get her out the way in 15 minutes. Facts. And you, and you, you can go right on the 16. Right there. You, she 15? You that, oh, you okay, that that's 15. Ah, 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 you that ah, nigga. Ah, yeah. But if you go an hour and she'll get hers, you still ain't nothing. You know. But yeah. anyway, so my point is, is that being able to understand, like, okay, you, you still want to give whatever performance that the other actors need so they can mm -hmm. so they right. can feel their emotion. Mm -hmm. But as far as some some of your stuff, you say, okay, it's on me now. Boom, now you can get your tears geared up and you deliver. Damn. So all, that's the technical stuff that people don't really understand. But that's why you got to get the lines out the way. Right. If you stuck on the lines, remember I said, you can't be free to be present so that yes, you can that cry sense, or so bro. that you can tell a riff and go into a joke. You got to get them lines. They can't, you gotta be you gotta be able to jump rope, drink water, and know the lines. Yeah. And now you add another layer on that, add an accent on it. Ooh. You gotta have the dialect oh, yeah. Yeah. on the lines with the blocking, with the food, yeah. wearing the right stuff and whatever it is, that's the all the it's yeah. just technical, Damn. man. Yeah. So that's why Hollywood or you know, they'll pay you, they'll pay Denzel Brad Pitt. They're paying whatever to be. They, you want a trailer? We got the trailer. The Rock. You want a gym? We, Michael Jordan. You want the, When you do space gym, you want a gym? No problem. But when we call action, we need you to deliver. Oh, me. We need the tears, nigga. We need the whatever it is you gotta do. Mm -hmm. We need you to deliver when we call action. We'll pay you. Yeah. That's why they got somebody for hair. They got somebody for wardrobe. So I you like. You can really focus, huh? All they want you to mm -hmm. do when they call action, bro. We want you to deliver. Have you ever been on a yeah. set where somebody really don't know their lines and they fucking up over and over and over and over again? Yeah, but it depends on how it depends on where they are in the call sheet. So for those listening, mm -hmm. the call sheet basically is a breakdown of everybody that's on set that day and the number of priority. Every actor has a number assigned mm -hmm. to the name according to the priority of which they are. Meaning, on on on. Whatever show, there's a there's a lead actor who's number one, all the way down to the person that's maybe showing up for a day, mm -hmm. day number sixty seven or hundred, <clears throat> whatever it is. Yeah. So on that breakdown, depending on where they are, meaning if the person is the star of the show, uh -huh. they may have a little more leeway, oh. and they kind of may, may they may mess up, and or they might show up late, depending on how professional professional they are, depending on the ego, mm -hmm. all that stuff plays a part. On raising Canaan. The lead actress, uh, shout out to Patina Miller. She's always on her stuff. I mean, everybody come on set. One, what character it, is that? She plays Rock. She's like the, the she's oh, my yeah, sister yeah. on the show. She's okay. the lead sister on the show. Mm -hmm. So she's always on her stuff. When you got, and I'll, that depends too, if you got a scene with somebody you know that's going to deliver, mm -hmm. the last thing you want to be is the nigga holding everybody up. Yeah. So you, I, I, if that means lack of sleep, it's been many a nights. I don't <laughs> go to sleep. I stay up. I get an hour of nap. Get up, I study, cause you don't want to be the nigga. Now, all right, and cut, and you gotta keep going, doing take after take because you ain't prepared. Yeah, forget that, man. Do whatever you gotta do. Be prepared, and uh, I would say be being pre very prepared because when you don't have your lines memorized, it causes it's a whole delay. Money is time, time is money. Yeah, that's so what I learned. So every time, every take they doing, yeah, you mess around and add to the hours of the day. That means the 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 Crew members got to stay an extra hour, yeah. whatever it yeah, is. Yeah. Stars got to pay, Lions Gate got to pay. It's a whole breakdown yeah. just because the nigga ain't got his lines memorized. <clears throat> Damn. No, nah, nigga, stay. Be professional. Learn <laughs> I your wonder lines. if that ever happened where it's like a nigga just can't get his lines down. It's like, bro, yeah. you yeah, fire sure. a nigga on the spot. You know what? Like, bro. Marlon Brando. Here's a story I remember, I'm, I'm, I've heard before. Mm -hmm. Marlon Brando, famous white actor, look him up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he, he memorized lines, so he had cue cards. Mm -hmm. Just set up on set, and he was so cold with it. He was able to read the lines and, and still give you give the eye contact the and all, and the all shit. of that. Damn, the that lines. nigga had a hell of a peripheral. <laughs> exactly. Oh, <man. laughs> Damn. Damn. So that's one of those, one of those stories, that, the Hollywood <laughs> stories I would hear about how he would do that. Now, who gonna write the cue cards? Not only is the nigga eyesight incredible. Cause cue cards are small, yeah. so he had to deliver what he had to deliver, give you the action, and be so. But I just try to. The first thing I try to do, 
get the lines out of the way, nigga, so you can be free to improvise because we comedians. Yeah. So you want to be free to improvise and, and somebody say something funny yeah. or you want to respond to something in a funny way. Yeah. You know, because sometimes people think improv is easy, but there are a lot of actors who aren't mentally connected. Mm -hmm. So when they go, when they try to improvise, they'll say something that don't necessarily fit with the scene. Now you throw the whole scene off because yeah. you try to go off the cuff, but you ain't, you don't, you're not even connected to the script. Yeah, or you can do some corny shit. Hella good scene. Then you fishy, my knee. It's like, bro, that's not yeah, in the script. Like, don't bro, be trying to that, add your little or you say shit. something like that. With your corny ass. <laughs> you add fishy. <laughs> My kneesy <laughs> to a period piece like Raising Canaan, yeah. where that dialogue don't was, even match. It don't even match. Yeah. So you, it's all of that stuff. You gotta be. And hands yeah. up, people that people that's watching this out of state. We don't say <laughs> fishy, my kneesy, in that's, California. I just try to find some corny shit to say, yeah, and that was yeah. the only thing I can come up with. <laughs> yeah, oh my! Nah. So yeah. Oh my! Hey, no, nah, but man, shout out to you for that because honestly, with the whole acting lifestyle, it's a lot more than what the average person thinks that that shit is. Yeah. That's a whole lot. Like how I mentioned, I be so focused on the motherfucking lines, forget my body language. Exactly, so bro. it's a skill within that. So yeah. actors got to get a lot of more credit, nigga, because, bro, you got to do so much different shit yeah. and being able to, nigga, know it enough to improv and not fuck up. Yeah. And you got to be so organized. That's one thing yeah. I learned about the actors. I'm like, yeah. wow. Um, I had to do a, uh, what's that shit called when you read the Cold lines? Read? Uh, yeah. Oh, this is what he mean. It's like a, uh, where everybody come together and it's like somebody write a script and is then. Table read? Table read. I had to do a table read with Melvin, Melvin Gregg. Shout out my dog, Melvin. You yeah. feel me? Uh, them niggas had highlighters and yeah. hella paragraphs. I'm like, y'all really organized. Like, yeah. But this is what they do. Like, yeah. nigga, they ain't no comedian. We none of that. that shit. That's why. Yeah. So we not, like, on what they already own or what they've been experiencing since the, you know, Melvin Gregg, that nigga, Vine nigga, like, all yeah. that stuff, and then going into the shit. So, like, he's a little more equipped than us in that area. But... Nigga, whatever tips you can learn from that nigga, whatever tips you can learn from bro, yeah. that's just gonna make you better. Yeah, bro. no, they real actors. Like, yeah, he you takes. Know I mean? You know, usually we keep a journal, and you just you you because, but that's why I always encourage people, if they want to get into the TV or the film stuff, mm -hmm. then I ain't nobody or nothing. This is all God. But, however, in addition to that, you know, I always encourage people if you can if you can take some classes, even if they're at JUCO, or yeah. you know something, take some classes. But also, if you can, try to do some theater, some sort of play. Some, there's a there's a discipline and there's a presence that you develop from doing theater. Mm -hmm. There's some things that you learn uh, that you can implement when you get, uh, you know, when you start doing television that you get from theater that just sets you apart, man. You, it's mm -hmm. a different presence. And you learn, you know, some of those things like keeping a journal and creating a backstory. Mm -hmm. A backstory... For those watching, is basically how did your character come to be mm -hmm. before whatever is on paper? What's his favorite color? Uh, his favorite ice cream? What time does he go to sleep? Who? What bothers him? What? It, what makes him happy? What is? What's his favorite kind of drink? What does he like to eat? Is there a certain walk? Is there a certain talk? Is there a certain way he like to wear his hat? All these things is the homework that you do before you even before they call action so that by the time they call action your character is very developed and he's a real person he's not just some nigga on paper he's not just yeah. Marvin isn't just some uncle yeah. he's a real person with yeah. feelings he's layered he, sometimes the nigga might be holding a gun and or he might be dealing with a chick he might when, when he gets orders from Rock he's like the little brother even though he's the older brother he's He's being sunned by Rock, but when he's giving orders to his nephew Kanan, he's the OG. And then with Lulu, they they get into it sometimes, and they got a little thing. But Marvin Loki, character wise, if you if people really and this is some other stuff, but if you really pay attention to Marvin, Marvin is a little bit of everyone. When it, when Marvin is gunning down some Italians, that's a little bit of unique. Uh, when he's a little, when he's vulnerable, that's a little bit of his his daughter. You know, uh, but when he's giving orders, 
he's a little bit of some rock energy. Yeah. When Marvin dealing with the ladies or, or any kind of smooth that's stuff, Lulu. that's Lulu. Yeah, I know the player <laughs> niggas. Yeah, man. It's all yeah. that. But when he's getting Lulu orders, Lulu retired, man. Let me play that nigga, exactly. man. <laughs> you know, when, he, when he's getting orders, he's being Canaan. Right. He's like a Can He's like a version of Canaan. Mm -hmm. When Rock is talking to him, because Rock is always the one saying, "Marvin, you need to be on this, this, and that." So. Mm -hmm. It's understanding how to create layers. As y'all go into this acting thing, always think about that and not just play what's on the paper. Yeah. Everybody can play what's on the paper because that's Facts. given. Yeah. What is the 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 fun is in the details in the subtext. What's not written? Can you yeah. play that stuff? Facts. What's 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 harder? Uh, stand up. Oh yeah, you putting your notes yeah, down. Say that one more time. Oh, oh mama, is everybody oh, watching this? Put your notes down, layers. man. The, uh, as as best you can. Try to create layers, meaning try to discover what's not on paper, the subtext, the the words, you know, if you got a good writer, if you got good writers, the script is going to be, it's going to give you some stuff, but it's more so knowing how to play what's not scripted. Yeah. The subtext. <laughs> and that's what, it, that's what the real, that's what the, the real stuff is, is the subtext. Yeah, you know. So, but damn, yeah. that's raw. What's harder, no. stand up or um, or acting to you for you? You know, they're different monsters. Like with stand up, it's is uh, the, the reason that I have stand up over acting because stand up is all me. Meaning, good or bad, we we have the liberty to to express ourselves in a genuine way, and you get the instant feedback. Mm -hmm. Yeah, acting is just. You know, it's a, just a different monster. That's like, that's like someone saying, you know, uh, depends on what you do. It's like, for example, someone say, man, is it easier? Let's just say, somebody say, uh, nigga, is it easy to walk through? Is it easier walking through the projects with this color on? Mm -hmm. Or is it easier walking through the 60s with this color on? Mm -hmm. You're like, well... I do kind uh, of those niggas over there. <laughs> They're both challenging, it is, depending on what you want to be on. Yeah. You're like, okay, well, because because sometimes let's say you, you you might ride around and it, look if you know the jungles, mm -hmm. you, you you can navigate through them. You say okay, but if you don't know, somebody drop you in the jungle, you and you being chased. You'll run, you be like, oh shit, I'm it's on the one way. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the cul de sac. Yeah. I only know that because of the like, training day movie. I don't think what I'm doing in the cul de sac. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I think everybody really know about the jokes because <laughs> you know of training day the movie. Oh, yeah, nah, nigga. Right? Oh, mama. You, you, so you're dealing with that. Turn on the it's if, over with. If, if you grew up over there, you realize even though you grew up over there, it still presents, it still has its challenges even within, right. even within being in the hood. You grew up over there. For example, it's like if you were to go live. If you were to go live in Atlanta for for nine months, mm -hmm. and you come back to the hood, even though you're from the hood, you gotta understand that the temperature has changed. Oh yeah, most definitely. Sure. Most Hell yeah. So the baby it, like that all the time. Every time I go back home, my mama used to be telling me, "Don't be hopping in motherfuckers' cars and shit. Your ass been the gone. The, the yeah. temperature Living your life, you come back, nigga. You Easy, don't know bro. who they funking with. Oh, me. So even though I'm from LA, <laughs> yeah. when I go back, when I live in New York, and I come back. I still gotta check the temperature and just see what's been going. Cause you remember, nigga, yeah. after the PPP loan stopped, oh yeah, niggas was on. They were oh, pulling up. Oh yeah, niggas oh, yeah. changed me. Oh, yeah. You gotta Bro. know the temperature. Yeah. So that's oh, why down there. you just gotta know how to read <laughs> and assess. So when you come to your question, not to be verbose about this, but when you talk about stand up or the acting, yeah. they they both present different challenges that's and just facts. different sides of you. So yeah. that's why I'm excited for y'all. As y'all continue to do y'all, because both y'all yeah. already do the acting thing anyway. Yeah, so I'm, I'm continue. I'm excited to see what y'all. We come yeah. back after, after <laughs> yeah. your movie, yeah. after your sitcom. Be like, oh, nigga, I remember you talking about <laughs> nigga, with that pulled to me. Yeah, I'll yeah, because like, that's why I kind of know what you talking about already. Yeah. I'm like my little experiences, my little yeah. movie role. You understand know I me? Mean? Yeah. I'm like, ooh, okay. Bro. I feel and it. And both y'all got credits already, so yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like cool. Okay, we've done it. We we got TV credits. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But as, as you as you recognize. As you move into as you move into uh, television and, and that sort of thing, you realize that if you go from being let's say number eight on the call sheet, so yeah. you may not be in every episode, you might be do one or two episodes. Yeah. You go from that, it's like hitting the gym. You might you know do ten ten reps with whatever that is. Yeah. And then somebody add a little more weight, so you move up in the call sheet. So as opposed to showing up one or two episodes, now you you every episode mm. that's a different kind of weight. Yeah. Then if you were the lead of a, a of a sitcom mm -hmm. or TV series, that's another kind of weight. Yeah. Then you go to a TV movie. 
and you realize that it's so many different levels of it. You you got a TV movie that's on a budget. Mm -hmm. I did a I did a TV. What's movie. a TV movie? Like a a, a a movie that you would see on on BET oh, for like Christmas. Lifetime or some shit. Lifetime or something like that, oh, right? Okay. So you do a TV movie. I, I I did a TV movie called. Uh, I like how that sound. Mary <laughs> Nigga, I'm on a TV movie. You stupid. Nigga, oh, <laughs> better stop playing me like I ain't on a TV movie. Nigga. I did a TV movie, nigga, Mary Xmas. It was me and Jason Weaver and some other people on there. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with Jason Weaver. Now, Real nigga. That TV movie, we shot that in maybe in like, I want to say like a month. Mm -hmm. But because it was a month, that means the time is shorter. Mm -hmm. Which means. You have less takes to get it right. So, right. for example, oh, on, on really? Razor Canaan, we may do 20 something plus takes. And we 20, 20 shots just on me. And, and they want whatever they want to do. They want to get it close to get each eyeball, each eyelid. On something like a TV movie, when it's, I think it was TV One, we in a month, yeah. we can, nigga, two, three takes. So done, and actually, man. you do it, got that angle, is the light right? That, so I get three chances yeah. to, to get, get whatever it is yeah. I'm gonna get. Yeah, nigga, they own to you, and they wrap that thing up in the day. So it depends on the budget. All that stuff counts on mm -hmm. how what makes it more challenging. Because if it's something like that, that means we ain't got time for actors to be slipping on their lines. Yeah, nigga, get three takes. Yeah, you got to <clears throat> come in prepared, and I'm I was the leader that. So I, if that means no sleep. Nigga, no, no sleep. sleep so that I'm prepared because yeah. everybody's dependent on you, number one, on the call sheet. Right. So it's That's a lot of pressure on different shit. levels, man. Yeah, hey. nah, what, one more question. This is going to be, uh, this is going to sound ignorant. Uh, but um, have you ever did a, a sex scene? Yeah. How is the sex? Because I never did a sex scene. <laughs> and uh, it just certain, certain shows be looking like, man, that looks like, like real like, fucking like, going like on. Doing their thing. You feel me? Like, how do. How do that sex scene shit work? I did a, I did a couple and, and raised can. Uh, one of the ones I did, the chick was on top of me. And what's interesting about that is, people <laughs> always asking, do you think about sex? Is it about and sex? Low key is the last thing on your mind. You want it to look real. Yeah. You, you worried about the performance. Yeah. Because when it airs, the last thing you want it to look is fake. Yeah. So you just, you know, you be. The, nigga you, did everything good, but your oh. fucking scene weak. <laughs> weak <laughs> ass, nigga. It look, your Straight. ass, nigga, don't even know how to beat exactly. it up. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, when the, when the chick was. When, it, when we did the scene, we practiced it first. Uh -huh. We got to sign waivers. Everybody. It, it's a. It's a. Usually have somebody there that like makes sure. a sex sure, coordinator type of person. Like right, to make sure you. that everybody's comfortable with whatever it is going to be. I need to be a sex coordinator. <laughs> Yeah, on mamas. <laughs> this what you need to do <laughs> on mamas. <laughs> Let her arch her back. Then you come through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You stand me. Let nigga, her do the thing. Human resources <laughs> gonna fire you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's a, Don't be yeah, over humping, yeah, nigga, yeah. on this scene. This is about the women, brother. Now, what I will say is a chick that I did the sex scene with. Mm -hmm. She was the one. She said, "Hey, I need to be on top." And mm -hmm. we talked about that. And what I what she expressed to me is that she said, "When women watch it, usually guys." They're just too like grotesque men, and they're just too like rough. And yeah. we on some, we be trying to do the scene like real life. And she's like, it's too rough. Yeah. She says it's better. Or when some a woman niggas on be top. really active. That's crazy. They don't even really probably be like that. But then when the scene hit on some active shit, nigga, be, huh, huh. it's like you don't even really be fucking <laughs> you like, don't that. Do like that. You <laughs> acting like you know what I'm saying. You over fucking <laughs> trying to show out for the yeah, game. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's why it helps that to just. Sense. That's why it helped to like to really be able to do it in a way to where she said, I'm gonna be on top. I said, cool. And we don't even touch like that. Like you have they have like a protective stuff for over her body, our body, and like some example, tape shit? Yeah, like they, they you might have a cup on, you may have like like it's like a some sort of like niggas like some sort of like cough that they put over you. Right. And so it has to be if it's shot well then it still look it still looks really really it depends on how it's shot a lot of right. times you know it, it just it depends on how it's shot the angles got to be right so that they can still get the illusion and still sell it cuz is lala on your show no lala's on, on two that's on the other show 
She's on. Uh, she's on one. I think she's on two. She's on the first one. She's on. The, on the she first on Raising power. Canaan though, right? She, Lala's not on Raising Canaan. Which is she, she on, on regular power? She on the regular, yeah, regular power? power. Yeah, yeah, cause she be. Oh, now I, she, I, on she on BMF. Oh, oh, she was doing yeah, thing. she be going crazy on every show. I'm I mean, like, damn, I, I is said, she covered? Yeah, I say, look, look, her look, scenes be going crazy. Hey, I Mello love everybody. Be fucked up. Yeah, I, say I that, love but, everybody. But see, that's why. That's why. Again, it's just being able to keep professional. So in the sex scene, let's say normally we shoot a scene, let's say. It's 75 people shooting the scene. When it's a sex scene, it'll be cut down to maybe like 10. They only have the people that need to be there, which is the director, mm -hmm. the camera people, and when they call cut, it's the wardrobe people that come in, they put a robe on you. ASAP. It, it's, it's what they call a closed set. So the main thing is, just know how to keep it professional. Yeah. Like like I said, people be thinking, man, do you really, your mind be how you control your mind and you all feeling? I said, man, that's the last thing you're thinking about. You're trying to make sure you got a good performance. On me. Period. But, to any niggas trying to do it, man, keep it professional. Don't, <laughs> nigga, don't get, don't be unemployed, nigga, trying to do it. <laughs> you nah, trying to nigga, trying do some extra hit. shit. Don't do no <laughs> extra, nigga. <laughs> nah, nigga, keep it, yeah. keep it, keep it you cool, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't mess around like that, man. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, cause, cause it'll be a lot of them cases on you, my boy. Yeah, yeah man, mamas. keep it chill. But um, what I wanted to ask you was, um, like, all right, when you were doing the show, okay, w was it like any like pressure upon you being on the show? Like, oh, I have to perform this way, or I have to do this. Like, with you know, people like knowing that you're going to be on the show. Was it like any pressure on you, or you was able to be like, <clears throat> this is what I got to do? And you know, the pressure came from one because power was already out. Mm -hmm. So it was like, okay, we're a spinoff of power. <clears throat> or is the audience going to mess with it? There's that pressure because they already got, the standards were set so high. Yeah. The bar was set high from power. And then also being from L.A., it's like, man, you want to you want to make sure that the action is solid yeah. and that the streets mess with it. Yeah. Because yeah. New Yorkers are different, man. It, it, I ain't going to say they different. Like, we're not different. But if somebody came to the Bay... Yeah, culture. They, they, it's a cultural place. And they're not, they not representing culturally. Yep. You're like, nigga, that's not... Yeah, that's not us. That's not us, man. Facts. So it was that... That was the biggest pressure. Once I realized that uh, New York, they, they embraced the show, mm -hmm. and I was locked in, it was it was cool, man. So that was the biggest pressure, just making sure. Because it's not like... Again, it's like... Whatever we do is is is, is documented. Yeah. So you want to yeah. make sure every scene, that shit count, every line is official, yeah. and all that stuff. So you just want to be as prepared as you can, so that you can really be, you can really deliver. Okay. So the pressure came from just making sure that I was gonna be this New Yorker because I had to get out. Of all and my dialect coach was telling me, he said, "Man, that's too California. That's too California." Oh, for real, saying that. Go through, oh man, all the little words, some things that you don't give. For example, a word like. We would say, man, uh, it'd be like, yo, can you, you say something like, ask me the, ask me the question. Uh -huh. And we say ask, but we really should, if I was from New York, it's more like, like, like ask. Uh, as, a, like ask yeah. as opposed to ask. Yeah. You know, or we, we may say Manhattan and they say, uh, like Manhattan. Mm, so knowing how to say saying, little things that yeah. New, New you got to use know. your H's instead of your R's. <laughs> California, we use a lot of R's. Oh, Player, hater, like, congratulator. Yeah. Yes, then me. New or York, they niggas say cool. Like like call, LA, LA call, niggas call. is call. It's like nigga, we was in the core. Like yeah, it's, call, it's, yeah, it's more call. harsher with the R. Like New York, we, that's uh, it. Is, that's dope. Like like how was it with with, with that bro like like being it's, able it's to constant. learn that shit and 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 and, and stay in it? Did Shout you ever Doug, fuck man, up? This nigga, man, they they would my uh, the dialect coach he would call me out on all the little things to where because because sometimes you just don't think about you just talking and uh, just a couple a couple times on set be like man you, you improvise you go off and you I say hey listen I tell Kane I say listen bro we can't say bro they wasn't saying bro back then. And you, you, I got. I'm coming for 2023, saying, yeah, "Bro, yeah. trying to, you know, yeah. little things Damn, like that." Yeah, facts, right? And nigga be talking right. about, yeah, nigga be talking about, nigga munch or something. It's like, yeah, nigga, like, we talking about, yeah, nigga, you in the '80s, nigga, nigga, ain't saying munch. <laughs> oh, I say, man, nigga, I want, I want, you know, hey, Rod, give me the money and all of that. Yeah, and I just, it's, all is too open, all, all of that. And man, all call your pull the car around, can it? Or the being able to, like, crunch the words down. Uh, 
when I when I do when I do Marvin, it's more Marvin's more like um or for example, we may the way we it, it, LA California, we may say, uh Man, it's crazy out here how everything go like that. Yeah. Our, our words are real wavy and we keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of the dialect is you know, it's, you know, it's 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 crazy how we do whatever it is we do. It's like it's really straightforward or it's really straight. So yeah. we don't really the the enunciation of the words isn't really is is what it could be. It could be something more like this. That's why fifty so, sound like the way he fucking sounds like talk. that nigga no sound like he like his shit is wired shut. Yeah. But even that even the different the bros you know uh, you know, uh, like with Jay, the, the words are really, you know, crazy and how the, <laughs> you, know, it's, you know, it's really, e it's, it's really easy. Hey, hey, we doing a skit, my nigga. <laughs> with the with the vowels, how they, they, how they, you know, they do their vowels, <laughs> and you know, in Brooklyn, I mean, there's I, there's this woman out there, I know she's at this bakery. Her words, her words are really awful. They call it. It's like coffee. Yeah. It's like it's really the vowels are really there. Yeah. And so you know you got some Brooklyn stuff, you got some Harlem stuff, and the and Queens around. So every everything has yeah that, every borough different has for sure. Thing, yeah. You know. So I, I'm still learning that. So it's a it's a it's a ongoing hard. class. So every now and again people will say that they hear it. My fault. Every now and again people will talk about how they hear hear the New York accent, but they got a thousand. That training was not. It's like eight, eight to nine months. Hell it's yeah. train all the time. Yeah, yeah. All, all, it's, oh, mama's. It's all the Even time. how you just said my fault, my fault, <laughs> my fault. Yeah. My, my, it's better my, my, like fault. my fault, bro. Yeah, yeah. My fault. Oh, my <laughs> my fault. That goes so, crazy. Yeah. Imagine I just come oh, back talking like a New York nigga. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie, this shit like, crazy, yo. Like <laughs> I'm gonna smack the shit out of somebody, <laughs> b. Keep fucking playing, son. I'm gonna really smack the fuck hey. out of somebody, b. Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean. that's how. <laughs> and then throw a little bass shit in there. Yeah, yeah bitch. That's how I felt about my nigga Stringer Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As him being stuck in a fucking accent, I never knew where he was really yeah. from. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, it was just Apple, what? Like, he talked with this accent, and it really fuck you up because they can stand the accent. Like, like it was just Apple. I, mm -hmm. I didn't know that that nigga was from where he was yeah, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, busy. just like Damson. Yeah. Like, uh, my son, mom, she, she worked on... Like, I think it was either episode of Snowfall or promo. Yeah. And she the one that told me that he wasn't from here. Because, like, she had called me, and she was, like, getting him. She, she, a, um, she a second AD. Okay. So, like, she would be go to the wait, trailer. Wait, tell me what AD is. It's assistant director. You got people that tuning in. They trying assistant to learn what you're right. yeah, Assistant yeah. director. So. Look, at, look at, you know they've been working. He got the nicknames. Oh, Second so, AD. So, so, so she nigga, was I'm doing that. talking about Anthony Davis. <laughs> <laughs> so, Y'all ain't the only one. <laughs> so, so she was like, she got the nigga from the trailer, but she was calling me to tell me something with our son. And he started talking. He's like, hey, I, I, I like those kicks, man. Those kicks are really, really neat. Yeah. And I'm hearing that shit. I'm like. You see how he flexed on us with the, tr yeah, the trailer? Yeah, he tried to. He you see how the nigga flexed with the trailer? Hey, 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 since you say that, I'm yeah. going to take that motherfucker. You see, you yeah, I'm, I'm, you I'm, did good. I did no. my little New York yeah. shit. <laughs> okay, we growing. But that shit was, I was like, wait. I said, who is that? She was like, that's damn. I said, he really talked like yep. that. Hell and I yeah. never knew because of the training, like how you say. Yeah. I know Dub C was on bro to get him to say yeah. that because when you hear oh, that nigga mind. Franklin Stop talk, all that French shit, nigga. He, that nigga really yeah. <laughs> he really Damson, he really hit some LA shit like got busy. Oh, I, shout out to Damson, man. Yeah, yeah that's mean, that's my player partner, man. Whenever we put this up, man, shout out to Damson, man. He got he got busy yeah. to oh. represent LA oh. like that, man, from for for a British cat, man. He for got sure, for sure. And that shit is crazy, bro. Like, is is okay, quick question. Is there any other accent that you would love to do a movie with? Like, what accent would it be? You know, uh, that's, that's where it gets interesting. I really love the New York accent. Uh, the Southern accent, you got to, that would be a challenging one. Yeah. Because, <laughs> hold on, let me shout out my OG. 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 Shout out to Mark Curry, man. man. He go here, man. Okay. Damn, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you go here again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see everybody. Yeah, baby. Right. <laughs> Shout out oh, to Mark Curry, man. man. You like, already know he's like, he's like a mannequin, don't he? <laughs> 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 I look like a 
like a minute. You know what I'm saying? This, this, he gonna be on the next episode. You feel me? That's how we doing <laughs> so it. So y'all nigga. tune in to the next episode. Right oh yeah, man. Hey, come on, man, hey, send me that clip of yeah. Mark Curry. Right I'll take it, Mark. That go crazy. Yeah. Hell I still yeah. watch. I still watch his set from 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 Def Jam. Oh, I still man. love that when he talk about staying up all night and his neighbors watch waiting for him. I, I, <laughs> he don't even know, man. Yeah. Now that was That's a hell love. of a moment right On there. Me. That's good. It was. Cause you know, you get you get those compliments off cameras. I know you probably bump into a lot of people that give you compliments, yeah. but you be like, you be having so much, you be like, damn it, I wish I had that I mean, on camera. Yeah. No, you know, <laughs> what, mama. You know what, what was cool about what cool what's cool about this that whole this whole moment right there is that, you know, uh you know, you watch these cats growing up. Let me give you this quick story. I had, so I didn't grow up with cable in my mm. aunt, in the house. Really? So my boy Luke, shout out to Luke, get well, Luke. Uh, my boy Luke was the one who said, "Come to my grandmother's house, let's watch Def Jam." Mm -hmm. And I didn't know. I was like, "What's Def Jam?" He said, "Man, it's this comedy show, Martin." Blah blah blah. So I had a chance to catch Mark Curry and Dion and all these other what you call it, these, these comics from going to my boy grandmother's house. And he introduced me to Def Jam, so he really planted that seed of stand up. But he was him hosting Def Jam was one of my is one of my favorite sets on there to watch because <laughs> yeah, he just got busy, man. So shout out yeah. to Mark Curry. No, nah, yeah. for and real. He always been solid, man. He, he been that's a good that's a good guy. Man. Oh yeah, yeah, man. You oh, know me. he from the soil, man. You understand me? <laughs> town business, man. Bay Area yeah, zone, man. You yeah. know we stay well connected, well respected, <laughs> man. From the Bay to LA, man. That's what this show is about, man. But did you yeah. see him you do the big grab yeah. for the college? Yeah. He grabbed for the, the lapel. Of, it ain't no lapel, but he grabbed whatever he's grabbing on was was yeah, there. Man. It was there. Hey. Bay nigga, we pop our skin, man. Hey. We don't even got no collar, no shirt, and, and we still gonna pop and, and something. And that's funny you know because mean? that's natural, <laughs> and, and and that's like how you mm -hmm. say Uncle Marvin with the tips. Mm -hmm. If you, you know what I'm saying, if they put him him in a Bay movie or some shit, yeah. it's certain things that he can do that a show like nigga, oh, mama's. you wanted them. Oh, I, I think yeah, I do. Exactly. I play a good you role even notice in it, the but Midwest, that's what you do. man. Give me a Chicago old school player, nigga. You understand me? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, it's the same. Yeah, okay. Detroit, nigga. You understand me? Yeah. Play. I, I, I think I not think. I know I can pull it off, man. So don't even <laughs> leave me to the blade, man. <laughs> you understand <laughs> me? Milwaukee, you understand me? If they make a little movie about the players ball or something, <laughs> let me be one of them Milwaukee niggas or something, man. Hey, man. Yeah, man. It's, it's yeah. A worldwide, man. <laughs> I'm saying. I'm saying. <laughs> nah, nah, and it's crazy. I love hearing you speak, bro, because when you speak and say shit, you make shit become clear. Now, I never really noticed some of those things that you mentioned, yeah. with, as far as you eating a snack or whatever, and that and that gives you, your character something. When you mentioned the Forrest Whitaker thing with the rubber band, yeah. I never that never stood out to me until you said that shit. Yeah, man, watch. Go back and watch that Taken Three. He he, it's so. If the fun is in the details, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The fun is in the details. And then also, on a show like Raising Canaan, man, it's a lot of good, strong actors. You got Omar on there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, he and is the is lead chick. Omar, she, she a man. Tony winner. And, and everybody else. Joy got his audience on there. So I got to find, my whole thing with that show, man, is and was and is to find ways that I can separate myself so that I'm not lost in the sauce because it... it we don't get them kind of opportunities. So you got to make it work. Right. So real quick on this one, I'll let you go. I won't take no time. But what I did, when I landed Ballers, mm -hmm. my character was only supposed to do maybe an episode or two. The reason he lasted for five seasons is I gave them something that kept him interested. Mm -hmm. So when I did when I did Ballers, man, uh, season one, and this is all God. I ain't, I, again, I got to keep saying it. This has nothing to do with me. <clears throat> ain't nobody. But when, when, I, when I did that one, it was important for me to develop the character in a way that made him interesting. So in season one of Ballers, by default, I became the antagonist. And how God worked that out is all my scenes were across Dwayne Johnson. So mm -hmm. even if you didn't want to see me, you noticed me because you was watching Dwayne. Mm -hmm. So by accident, or not by accident, by divinity, how God set it up. That was a good-ass word. I don't on. know what it means, but hey. how you said it, I know what you're talking about. No, I'm going to say one thing about this nigga, what yeah. I realized. Yeah. He said a lot of big words he loved to read, and, and like it, it be words that you don't understand. And I remember you was breaking <laughs> some shit down when we did that panel at the Crenshaw Mall. You were saying a few big words, and he was like, let me tell you what that word means. 
The word means da, 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 da. Yeah, this I was nigga like, the Kendrick Lamar of this, acting. Oh, I mean, bro, bro, like, go, like he get busy with that shit. <laughs> well, let's not be vociferous while we're here. <laughs> 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 That's what it work. He's playing <laughs> vociferous. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't yeah. niggas ain't never say vociferous. Niggas like oh, my mama. Folk. Vociferous. Yeah, yeah, I talk to my phone that's all the time. That's just the beat. <laughs> Nigga, that's Mississippi. <laughs> Louisiana. <laughs> he said, Mississippi. Yeah, I'm on crooked my way letter. to it's, it's crooked Florida. letter, crooked letter I. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I be talking to my phone. Hey. We got a good relationship. Hey. hey, sorry, sorry to fuck you up, but nigga, have you ever had a simple word, nigga? You start to start to say that motherfucker to get the word oh, right? Oh, yeah. Man. Like, Shit, man. everybody nigga learn to say, uh, spell, uh, Mac Dre. <laughs> I mean, spell stupid because of Mac Dre. Yeah. S-T-U-P-I-D. Hey, uh, independent. Yeah. I-N-D. I still You're fucking right. up, man. I gotta, I gotta think about the song to get it I know, right. I know a whole lot of niggas still struggling to spell restaurant. You gotta rest to rest to hour. You got it. Oh my, what's up? Meet me at the food spot. Fuck it, I ain't finna spell all of this shit. <laughs> Meet me at the spot. But you know what I'm saying? But the, at, at, at the, at the, what was the question? Ah uh, damn, I forgot the question. See, we was having so much fun. Yeah, we I just popped the question. Pee, anyway, you know me? the point so, is, sorry that, about that. Oh, I was talking about, I was talking about balls and all of that. Yeah. The point yeah. is, is that. I wasn't supposed to be on the show, but it because but by how God set it up, it allowed me to play all my scenes across from Dwayne. But that's going to the core of this is just knowing how to capitalize on making that stuff, knowing how to stretch and, and really being prepared and working that stuff. So even with that, I did a lot of improvising because I wasn't written in the script. Mm -hmm. So I was improvising. They was writing and asking me about what to say and where we should go with the character. Any, anyway, it worked out that I was on be able to be on there the five seasons. But it's not me. This is all God, man. I ain't, no. got, I ain't, I ain't nothing, or nothing. Oh my! I got to, I got to say that. I got to be very clear. This is just, you know, me being prepared. God lining it up. Yeah. You know, so and you were just posing to get no, chosen, man. man. You were posing right <laughs> and got chosen. I, I, man. I say, I say this stuff me? with no vanity, yeah, yeah. with all humility. Oh, you know, mama. because once, once you know what this stuff, our gifts are not for us. You know, yeah. our gifts are not for us. Once you realize that our gifts are not for us, then you can't even. It's like who flosses in a rental car? It's not yours. Mm -hmm. These gifts are not mine. I'm just I'm glad to be a recipient of it. Oh my right. God was just beneficent to give it to me. Yeah, ain't yeah. got nothing to do with me. You ain't you hey. ain't the game. You just the player in the game. I ain't nobody. Nothing. Yeah, hey. man. <sighs> But, I'm just trying to make it hey, sound good. Hey, define beneficent since niggas don't know. I know. Before big word. we wrap it up, what yeah. do yeah? Because <laughs> I know it's a lot of people they didn't gave up on this episode. Because I don't know. They said that word. They said nigga. I, no, nigga. just in the sense that in 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 very very regular layman's term, God was just so gracious enough to give give us what we got because we could have we could have been. We could have been anything else. We could have been yeah. something. No, nah, he didn't of... hear. The, he didn't hear the question. He had the word. Right. Uh, That's what I'm saying. I gave it to you in the, in a very basic term, as far as beneficent meaning. Just God was just so gracious enough. Okay. To mm, just, I got to see when was so cool to enough. It went so over our head like a body, enough, man. <laughs> so kind enough to, to just to just. I'm gonna say that. Say it again one more time. Beneficent. Beneficent. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Beneficent. Beneficent. Yeah. yeah. Beneficent. So how can I say that to a woman? <laughs> uh, that just sound has the need to pop yeah, after, my after you, after you go have have dinner and y'all go have dinner you, you take her home she calls you she said man uh, I, I I enjoyed I enjoyed uh, she said thank, you say hey did you get home safely she said yeah I got home safely uh, thank you man you were so beneficent to share your time with me mm. ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, and she gonna look that word yeah, up oh man. god hey for everybody that's watching the Kelly kickback right now man I'm so beneficent that y'all watch this motherfucker man you understand me and fucked with us on this episode man with some real niggas you understand me <laughs> hey so you was that motherfucker right away god damn it. Hey, hey London man I appreciate you coming through bro you understand me yeah. Rest in peace, Teddy Ray, man. He loved you, man. He uh, he uh. That's my guy. You man. understand me? He had a lot of respect for you. You understand me? You yeah, already so know the man. love is you love is here, man. We appreciate you, man. Keep mm -hmm. keep keep creating greatness and you know building up your legacy, man, and uh pushing the culture <coughs> forward, man. You man, understand me? man, shout out to y'all. <coughs> appreciate for you, being, boy. For cool. Oh, for and, and and I want to shout out, shout out uh the OG man. Shout out to Mark Curry too, man. Off yeah. tops, man. I'm gonna make sure you get that <laughs> clip, man. Absolutely, yeah, man. Yeah, that's got, timeless, got, man. He, he yeah. in the room. I know you can hear me. Mm -hmm. I, I want him to know, man. He's always been super cool mm -hmm. to me. I, I think the last time 
he 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 off camera hearing this, but last time I I, I ran into him, we was at uh, Paul Mooney's. Uh, we was at the Laugh Factory one evening, one afternoon for Paul Mooney because he had pa he just passed mm -hmm. away, I think twenty twenty one, something like that. And uh, that's one. Actually, that was one of the last time I was in Oakland. I I did a show with Paul Mooney. Oh, that's raw. No, yeah, shout out. You niggas are slow, all of you. <laughs> No, no, it's, just, it's the truth. You niggas are slow. You, 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 you have your, your, your podcast. You, you think you know everything. Just listen, you know, you, you know it's the truth. You, you, you're slow. All of you. All of you. Yeah, that nigga sounds just like he if it, cold. If it don't make dollars, it it, it don't make you sense. You gotta say something about the white folks too. You know, no. Paul Mooney went hard yeah, on, on the me, white folks. Yeah, on me. Uh, let me see. Uh, the white folks. Well, well. No, no. Let me tell you this one. It's the truth. Okay. Uh, white people, they, they're, they're slick with their words. <laughs> you have to watch them. They're, they're slick. You know, if, 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 if look, black people, we can't be racist. <laughs> By definition, it's the truth. Facts. Hey, facts. Hey. Look, racism, listen, prejudice <laughs> is an attitude. Racism is a system. Listen, <laughs> if you do, if you get mad at any, if you get mad at something that white people do, is there anything you can do? All you can do is just be mad. <laughs> Hey, this nigga hard, bro. And I'm gonna say how hard you are. Cause you're doing the impression, mm -hmm. saying words that sound like shit that he would say. Mm -hmm. But the thing that you that you do well that I don't think you notice that you're doing, nigga, is when he like stutter on a word or not finish a word and go into the next thing, it sounds just like this nigga. Oh, like mama's. it's perfect, yeah, nigga. You know, but again, this goes back to a lot of this what I think and, and I will leave you with this, I know we gotta get Mark on here. The <clears> thing <throat> is, what I think that makes Cause people think I I don't do voice I'm not even that good like shout out to Jay Farrell Jay Farrell yeah Jay like, Farrell boy yeah. is an impression like that's what he do and my boy yeah. Godfrey I, do, I, I, yeah. I get yeah. and Godfrey and and Aries these people, they do voice I do a couple voices that I do but I will say the thing that I think makes what my voices do versus other people is the, the this goes back to theater training mm -hmm. is is a lot of people might be able to do the voice but it's it's. It's it's different when you're able to embody. Yeah, yeah, and the, the, the yeah, hand yeah. movement, the body line, yeah. all that it's shit. A different, it's a different thing. So <laughs> that, but that comes from theater, being yeah. able to embody, mm -hmm. along with doing, uh, being able to do, hold on, that's not the voice, uh, being able to do the voices and call out and make sure that it's not what you know, it's what you can prove, okay? Boom. <laughs> It, okay. it's, it's that sort of thing or, or being able to call it's crazy <laughs> really the fact is we're not in the same bracket not in the same league <laughs> you know, say, it, say what up B it's crazy <laughs> out here you know it's like I really appreciate you guys and for for what you're doing it's easy out you know, you know, oh, hey, you know, hey, that's the YouTube clip that's what I want on my page nigga I want that on my page I want no, that on man, my page I, I appreciate it. I'll get with you. I'm, 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 I'm gonna get, get out of here let Mark Get busy. That's my guy. I want it. Yeah, Mark. I got a lot of love for you, Mark. Oh my Mark. mama, man. <laughs> we in this thing, man. It's the Kelly kickback. You understand me? This thug mansion. You understand me? All places where the real niggas can go. You yeah. understand me? Ain't got to worry about the other man harassing us. You understand <laughs> <Yeah>. me? <laughs> <laughs> we go, man. Make sure y'all subscribe. All the shit, man. It's Lewis Belt, London Brown, Watson, Be Quan. We gone, man. Oh.